How's it going, Forex traders? Is yours truly Dapper Willis, and I am back with another banger. Yes, I'm back with another amazing video. If you're just joining me for the first time, my name is Dapper Willis, and this is the segment of my YouTube channel, one of the most highly anticipated aspect of my YouTube channel, where I come and break down the charts. It's called Trader Talk. Now, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I've been gone for a bit, but I needed that holiday. I needed to go and spend my Forex profits. I needed to enjoy my life i needed to visit family because at the end of the day the reason why we do what we do is to be able to live life on our terms but something happened while i was on holiday i mean i was putting up videos i was trading i was giving trade calls but i noticed something because i wasn't posting that many videos on youtube a lot of traders were struggling even their mentors as well that just showed me how powerful this channel is that just showed me how powerful the information that i share here is because guys at the end of the day i'm not trying to blow my own trumpet but i've been seeing my comments my mentions dapper willis where are you now that being said i mean whilst i was on holiday and enjoying my life and enjoying my profit um the forex market pretty much went into a kind of like a range kind of like an indecision zone so the thing about the markets is it will trend for 40 percent of the time so the remaining 60 percent of the time it will go into a range so once i started to see signs of a retracement or a range or something or something of that sort i decided to leave the market and go do other things go handle other things now during this period this period of consolidation is where a lot of traders go to blow their profits and this is why if you guys can remember correctly whilst the market was trending and we were making all that money i was urging you guys and begging you guys to redraw your profits and spend a percentage of it on yourself because i knew that sooner or later the market was going to go into a nasty range so guys in this version of trader talk i'm just i'm not only going to be teaching you guys how to make money but i'm going to be teaching you guys how to preserve your capital and preserve your profit because at the end of the day that's the reason why we're here we're here to not just make money but we're also here to preserve it and spend a portion of it and enjoy our lives take a good look at me for example i still have my benjamin franklin's with me i took about 26k uh two weeks before i went on holiday i had like 26k that i'd redrawn from my trading account i went and spent in the mall i came back and i redrawn another 30k as you can see this is real bands okay say hello to benjamin once again guys the the, the challenge here is a lot of traders cannot do this right now why because they've gone ahead to blow their accounts yes that's the honest truth because from what i've been seeing on the internet a lot of people are really struggling with this market so like i was saying guys in this segment of my trader talk i want to not just teach you guys how to make money but i want to teach you guys how to preserve it regardless of the market conditions and guys as far as i'm concerned the most realistic way to go about it is the top-down analysis because on the forex mastery program which you should get if you know you want to stand any chance at being able to first of all make money in the market but most importantly preserve that money means keep it you need to grab the program because what has happened could have what well, rather what has happened to most traders could have been avoided because from the characteristics from the features from the from the signs that the market was showing if you were a forex mastery student you would have understood that the market was going into a period of consolidation and because of the fact that a lot of people just have refused to get the program you know i don't know for what reason or the other they just refused to get the program they run into a lot of issues so all the money that they made because they were watching free youtube videos they only got a portion of the teaching they didn't understand when it was time to what stand aside and i don't talk about that on my youtube channel i only speak about it on the forex mastery program so if you haven't gotten it the link is going to be down here below or around here somewhere yes they're going to be like oh that police keep talking about the forex mastery program but by now you should understand the essence i mean your trading account now should tell you that it is time to get the forex mastery program so once again the link is around here somewhere and yeah uh, after this video i'm gonna go do some shopping actually let me just 
Come my Benjamins one more time. Let me put, let me rub it in the faces of people who have refused to listen to me, okay? People have refused to let's say get the program. They're like, eh, I'll get it next week, I'll get it next month. And now what's happened? You made some money, and guess what? You've lost it all in the game. So um, should I be mean and not talk about this in my trader talk? Or should I help them out? Should I help them out? Okay, guys, if you want me to help you out, type help, help. Just type help me, dads, in the comment section. So just type help. And okay, let's jump into the video. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. Stick around. I'm going to give you trade calls. I'm going to teach you how to preserve your capital and all the money that you've lost. You want to make some of these bands. Stick around to the very end of this video. And now let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome inside of my screen. It's quite refreshing to see um, candlesticks again. It's quite refreshing to show you guys some candlesticks. And like I said earlier, um, I want to come on here and help most of you guys out that are struggling. The market is currently in consolidation mode. It's given some signs of a, I won't say reversal, but I would say pullbacks. And like I was saying earlier, guys, you see, these are the little characteristics of price action that a lot of people don't really know about and that's why they run into issues i mean look at all the money you know you guys have probably made i mean i made a lot of money shorting the euro same thing with gbp usd only for you know most traders to come and give away all their profit right about here so before i jump into this video uh, before i do anything um I would advise you guys to go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you guys don't miss out on any of this kind of information. As you can see, this is from pretty valuable stuff. People are, you know, people are losing a lot of money. Um, people who listen to me are making a lot of money. People who refuse to listen to me are losing a lot of money. So if you want to be on the winning side, if you if you want to be able to, you know, make money and keep the money i'm gonna give you guys five seconds right about starting from now smash the subscribe button right there you know so that you guys get updated immediately i drop my video so i'll give you five subscribe four three two one so that's the subscribe button right about there all right guys so let me jump into the chart so i haven't done any prior analysis i'm just opening the chart for the first time i'm gonna break this thing down um one trader to another trader so that you guys can understand what exactly is happening so i'm going to kick off with the euro i think i wrote down a couple of pairs that i wanted to speak about euro usd AUD, usd gold um so these are the pairs i want to speak about and will potentially look for trading opportunities for those of you guys who have lost money want to make it back let's see how you guys can make some money back okay so you ask me what exactly is happening with the euro dollar What's the what's the issue with the euro? What's happening with the US the euro USD? Now, um, as you can see on the monthly time frame, this is a very very decent trend. I called this collapse all the way into 0 0.9600. As you can see, the market has come into um, my area of support. And mind you, I didn't just plot this now. If you watch two, three, four, five, even maybe seven videos ago, you would see that this level has been here even while the market was trading all the way up here. And that's the good thing about understanding the top-down analysis. Um, you're able to plot your major zone. So even before the market gets there, you already know. Because I already knew the market was going to have issues here. was going to turn around here. So this was always my overall target. You see? And this is why I keep telling people. I mean, this is what I teach on the Forex Mastery Program. The very first thing, after we identify the overall flow of the market, the overall flow of the river, the very first thing I like to do, or rather the second thing I like to do is I like to... Sorry, my laptop seems to be spooling up. Um, the, the second thing I like to do is I like to plot out my key levels because these key levels is exactly where this market is going to respect. Okay? So that's very important. So you asked me, Dapo Willis, why did you stop trading the euro? Because we were trading around this region. It's as simple as that. I took out most of my money here, if not all of it. Okay, I stopped trading a while ago because we came into major major support. But a lot of people were blind to this level. A lot of people kept on trying to sell short because the market kept on coming lower. And guess what happens? The market sucked everybody into this nasty uh, range you can see right about here. Let me just delete this. Um, nasty, you know, pullback area. As you can see, the, the monthly candle for October, this is a monthly time frame, if I'm not mistaken. You can see this is an inside bar of this candle. And then this month, we're obviously pushing all the way, you know, we're retracing all the way back to the upside. Um, so 
You know, that's why I keep telling you guys, grab the Forex Mastery Program, grab it, grab it, so that you know when to stop trading. It's one thing to know when to continue to want to, one thing to know when to be trading. It's another thing to know when to stop trading. So if you haven't grabbed the program, once again, the link is in the description as always. But the monthly time frame um, has come into this major support level. We're pushing all the way to the upside. Monthly is telling me there's this 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 problem, their challenges, their issues. Let's come over to the weekly time frame to see what exactly is happening. From the weekly time frame, from what I can see, the trend isn't exactly over. I wouldn't say the Euro USD trend is over. I would say that there is some, you know, there's, there's a significant amount of pullback. Um, we're consolidating at the moment. Um, so ideally, the market would definitely want to push into. Don't forget, guys, as I teach on the Forex Mastery program, we move from zone to zone. From this zone, we came down here. We tested this zone. We came here, as you can see. We tested this zone before we came back down to this zone. So now we're currently playing in between 1.0400 and 0 0.9600. Okay, so zone to zone. Have we seen a trend reversal? We don't have a clear sign of a trend reversal. Can it happen? Possibility. Has it happened yet? No. Okay. So at the moment, um, we're still currently trading up down below um, this very massive trend line. I'll go ahead and plot an inner trend line, but I'll be very careful as I'm plotting it. Always don't forget Forex Mastery students. Remember, I always teach you guys plot your trend lines at the top. You know how to plot your trend lines, right? I don't, I don't need to tell you guys. Okay. Okay. So put it at the top, at the wicks of the candle. So I'm done with the monthly time frame. As you can see, the inner trend line of the monthly time frame has been brief of the weekly time frame had not, not even the time this, this is the outer trend line and this is the inner trend line the inner trend line has been breached okay somewhat has been breached if i want to see things a bit more clearly i'll come to the daily time frame and as you can see very carefully okay um as you can see top trend line top trend line um top 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 of the week top of the week you can see how we broke above this trend line closed back down below it. we've come so if you pull your trend line a bit closer to the market you will notice that this is technically a breakout retest continuation what this simply means is we've broken out of the trend line we're currently testing the outer point of this trend line and we have basically bounced off of this trend line and we're now pointing to the upside so you still ask me that is this a trend reversal not yet so sometimes when the not sometimes for a consolidation to happen it will look like a trend reversal but there are some certain things that you know the market needs to tell you before you can be sure it's a trend reversal forex mastery students once again check module five i think module five talks about chart patterns and trend reversals if you haven't grabbed the program once again as you can see i'm making a, a lot of reference to it so that you're not lost out you don't miss out on anything grab the program because i'm not here to start teaching people afresh and all that right now when i do my make my videos i'm gonna say it here my video videos are almost tailored as much as i want people to understand what i'm saying but my videos are actually really tailored to the forex mastery students so if you know you want to be in sync what i'm saying get the program okay once again module five the link is going to be for the forex mastery program is going to be in the description once again module five talks about chart patterns and we haven't seen any chart pattern for me yet all we can see is the market breaking out of this inner trend line now what do i think is going to happen personally um i feel that the market wants to come okay and pull back significantly so for every major move you see i'm taking my time out to explain everything to you guys now okay there's a lot of confusion going on in the market we don't really know what the market wants to do next it's going being a bit crazy but from what i can see the euro might attempt to shoot at 1.0400 okay um that's gonna really depend on a couple of factors am i going to be trading it no um because <laughs> I don't really like to trade um, counter trends. I'm not really a counter trend trader because counter trend, the chances of a counter trend trade work, or rather, the chances of a in trend trade working out is higher than a counter trend. Okay, the counter trend trade needs to look so good and so juicy 
in order for me to want to take advantage of it and really and truly i'm not really a fan of this setup right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sit on my hand but i can tell you for those of you guys who are looking at the euro and wondering what exactly the euro might want to do next um first of all we'll need to clear out this level about here because this is a hundred percent retracement of this month so this is a we started to come out and we made a high higher high sorry this is a high higher low we came in and made a higher high it's technically a higher low again if i move my fibonacci from swing high shoot from swing high to swing low this is a 50 fibonacci move and we look to be pointing to the upside so i would not be surprised if the euro decides to blow out all the way to the upside to be honest i would not be surprised um so at the moment what do I, what do you what do you use this kind of how rather how do you use this kind of information what do you do with this kind of information personally i take this information and i say to myself okay at this point in time, the market is no longer trending in the way that I want it to trend. What I do is I stand aside. This is where a lot of traders tend to struggle. Standing aside is a big problem. Everybody wants to care. I see people are still drawing tr counter trend lines like this. The market is stopping. I mean, the f do you know how many stop losses have been hit? I know. <laughs> I know because I've been seeing a lot of people. I've been seeing crazy setups on, on, on the... Um, on social media right people have been tagging me and i'm saying like you guys don't even know what you're doing can't you see there's been a four hour double bottom on this on this major level if you're a forex mastery student you would have known that this there's danger we've pulled all the way to the upside okay we've even come back down and somewhat tested this and the market is going up and people are still drawing counter trend lines and wanting to short even when we're making higher highs in a downward market i say no no it's a red flag okay so for me these are red flags and that's exactly how i didn't trade it i wasn't interested and if you watch my previous videos i kept on saying i wasn't interested in euro anymore and as you can see the market is now pointing to the upside so i'm going to delete this trend line and i'm going to watch this market very carefully um like i said once again i won't be surprised if the euro lifts off you know to probably test this region or probably come and test one of these highs but i i if i know this market very well it's probably i in this 1.03500 so for now i am not interested in the euro i will not be trading the euro and the same thing goes for now don't forget guys the euro okay the euro and the euro and um the euro and the dollar index are very much correlated they're inversely correlated so if the euro is ranging if the euro is you know having any issues moving sideways best believe the dollar index is doing the same as well and every other us dollar pair will obviously be experiencing the same thing as well so you see is these little things that differentiate the consistently profitable trader from the what the people who are just following mentors blindly okay so if the euro is telling me that look daps i don't really know what i'm doing right now right now it doesn't know what it's doing okay Right now, the euro has no idea as what it's doing, okay? It has no idea as to what it's doing. So, I'm just going to watch the euro very carefully. So, maybe we might be forming a, a, an X to, a, an, uh, X to E wave pattern. So, X to A to B to C to D to E. So, okay. Let's see what might potentially happen at this region. So, this green bar will pretty much dictate what the euro is going to do next. If we sustain below this green bar, we might potentially roll over to the downside. However, if we clear this green bar, we're going to come on here. So these are the two scenarios. OK, so um, ideally, I would still like for the euro to be bearish. But for right now, we're currently consolidating and you need to give the market time. Are you not tired of eating the market's money? <laughs> I mean, look at all these dollars, man. Shit. I'm, you know, I'm good. All the ones I stuck in my bank account, I probably have 350k. In, hold on. This guy on Telegram keeps calling me, man. You see, the thing about Telegram is everybody keeps calling me on Telegram, but I tell them, get the program, man. All the questions you're asking me, it's in the program. It's in the program. It's in the program. This guy just keeps calling me. Okay, begging me, please, my life is over, I sold my house, and this, I'm like, dude, you save yourself all this headache, look at, very simple, this is how you know, 
a real trade as you can see there's nothing to be done here you have to wait okay we're done with the euro what are we doing for the euro forex mastery students we're waiting okay so i'm done with the euro don't worry guys give it another 10 15 days the market will give us those look at how much money we've made now you guys should understand the power of the top down analysis the power of a clear direction once we have a clear direction riches once there's no clear direction leave it alone if not poverty <laughs> I'm telling you, clear direction, trade it, riches. No clear direction, you trade it, poverty. So the choice is yours. The choice is yours. So we're done with the euro and the dollar index. As you can see, for now, I'm just going to quickly expand everything. Don't do much. Just relax. Allow the market play around. Delete this. Allow the market move. Keep your levels. The market will, when it's time, the market will come and, as long as you're a Forex mastery student, the market will come and knock on your door. Yo. It's time for us to go trading but for now allow it be okay so that's the euro the next thing i wanted to speak about was AUD USD. AUD and another reason why the euro might be acting up exactly why i wanted to show you guys um another no no, no that's all i wanted to talk to you guys about AUD USD. now over to AUD USD. as you can see from a monthly time frame perspective the market is bearish okay as you can see I call this market the very easy trade. You know, I predicted the 1,000 pip drop. I've been calling short all the way from here, 1,000 pip drop. So my 1,000 pip drop hasn't been fulfilled yet. So what happened was I've been shorting AUD USD. I still have my short positions. However, I'm trailing my stops. So what is happening here is we've come into this black bar. Okay, we've come into this black bar. Why is there a black bar here? Because of this boy here this guy is a serious guy and as you can see it's played out before in the past so don't just be blinded and say oh just map out the key zone if i see and like i teach on the program if i see between two major zones i see some very key levels that have happened in the past i wouldn't ignore them i would use a black line to highlight them so that when the market gets around that region and starts misbehaving as it is doing like so i know exactly why it is misbehaving it doesn't necessarily mean that the market is going to reverse from here what this would simply mean is that could be an area of potential profit taking and you know once profit taking tends to happen the market will be presenting you listen this is something that i want to share with you guys or should i share it on the forex mastery program how do you know when how exactly do you identify when the market okay i'm going to upload and i'm not joking i know i keep saying this a lot but i'm actually going to do this on the forex mastery program i'm going to up upload a five minute video very short brief and as precise how to identify when the market is exhausted okay how to know okay because do you know that the market can be trending downwards this is one thing I need to share with you guys. The market can be trending downwards, okay, and still give you sell opportunities and still be a losing trade. Yes, because the market can be in a downtrend. You can still see selling opportunities. You can still trade those selling opportunities and still lose money. Why? Because even within that, that downtrend, if the market is retracing, for a bigger move to the downside and you're still trying to sell you can still lose money i don't know if that makes any sense we're coming down as you can see for all the traders who try to sell here coming down you have lost money traders who are still trying to sell but the market is bearish but traders are still losing money in the bearish market so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do like a five to ten minute section on the forex mastery program once again if you haven't grabbed it i suggest you do so the link is going to be around here as always i'm going to do that and i'm going to put it so that you know that as much as the market is moving south the way things are happening maybe i will just chill okay so that you don't give away all your profit and my primary my primary objective in this market is make money 
Secondly, keep it. I hate to give away my profits. So what's happening with AUD USD? As you can tell, this black bar, due to what's happened historically, is causing issues. So what do I think is going to happen next? Well, as long as this, I always have a very golden rule that guides me in all my trading, uh, all my trading opportunities, all my trading days, my entire um my entire not say strategy, but my ideology is built around this. We have a downtrend, we have that trend line, we also have an inner trend line. As you can see, trading is simple. You don't need to complicate it, guys. There's no need or reason for complication. Zero. So we have a bigger trend line, which we don't need. Delete that. We also have an inner one. We can draw it like so. Fantastic. So, as you can see, for AUD USD, we're still trading below. And sometimes, guys, the market is just trying to move sideways to. Nah, let me keep that. Actually, let me take some notes that I'm going to add to the Forex Mastery Program sideways moment. Non support for PT. <coughs> Further downside. So, three key points that I need to touch on on the Forex Mastery Program so that you guys know when you know it's time to chill. You know, when it's time to just calm down on your selling, okay? And when it's time to calm down on your buying, when it's just time to just relax and allow the market to do its thing before it starts falling. As you can see, the market is moving sideways and trying to approach this, the inner trend line. So this will be the deciding point. So I'm going to be waiting. I'm still short. My short positions are here. I'm still short, okay? My stop losses are probably somewhere around here. I've been locking in and locking in. As the market, I'm trailing my stops. And my overall targets are all the way down here. Still, my I'm still going for my 1,000 pip move. Okay, so as you can see, I will still follow the key principles of price action. I will still keep everything, you know, in check. I wouldn't say, oh, because, of, guys, the principles of the top-down analysis and what you've learned on the Forex Mastery Program will still guide you into prosperity. It's just that sometimes you guys just need to open your eyes and understand that, look, there's danger here. Let me chill. But because everybody has been making too much money, they're like, oh, no, no, no. I want to keep selling. I want to keep selling. And people are drawing crazy counter trend lines. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Anytime I fly back to Dubai, the vents, because in, in Dubai, we use central cooling. So I think the vents always affect my sun sizes. But when I was back in Nigeria, I was good. I don't know. My, my, my sun size is starting to play up again. But nevertheless, same thing for AUD USD. I will not even put this trend line here. I will just I want a clear, clean chart. I don't want whatever I want to do, go ahead and do. I will wait. Because this isn't anything to trade. There's nothing here to trade. A lot of people don't want to hear it, but it's the fact. There's nothing here to trade. So what do we do? We wait. We what? We wait. And now take me to the next trade, which is gold. And I'm going to wrap up with gold. But I can bet you that I'll be back here 10, 10 days from now. And we'll look for opportunities to trade the market. But for now, it's my duty to come. It's not every time. I mean, when it's, when it's time to make money and everybody's jumping like, yes, we're making money and good. Yes, I'm be the first person to be here to show off my US dollar bills, you know, to talk about all the things I'm buying. But also, I should also be able to come on here and tell you guys when it's time to wait. Some people will not listen to me. They will still go and trade NFP on Fridays. They will still go and do this and do that and blow their account. That's entirely up to you, okay? Let's quickly look at what gold is saying. My bias for gold still pretty much is the same, okay? No matter how you want to draw this trend line, we're still very far away from this trend line. What I'm doing for gold now is I'm just checking to see if there's any reason why 
gold and a short trade should not be joined together in holy matrimony because I don't get why gold isn't collapsing. Honestly, the real truth be why gold isn't collapsing yet is because of the dollar index. If gold was at this point when the, the euro was falling the way it was falling like maybe last month or the way the dollar index was going up you know, last month, gold would have dropped easily. But for now, gold has presented its his head with coming to the trend line, but there isn't that much momentum to the downside. So it's just playing around here, waiting for volume, waiting for traders to dump it. But that hasn't happened yet. And because of that, there's a lot of sideways movement. Okay. But notwithstanding, I'm just gonna be watching gold to see. Um, I'm gonna delete this. Uh, I tried to sell gold, I was short gold from um, this point. My, my next level target was here. However, you see this is what I always tell you people. Eh? Always take out 50% of your position at the 100% retracement. Gold came in here. I took out 50% of my position. I moved my stop losses to what? To break even. My second trade is still open, although my stop losses have been moved past my entry. So at this trade, I've banked 50% and my second trade is what? Risk free. So for gold, same thing for gold. I will be watching this bad boy. To see what exactly happens okay guys like i tell you the market isn't you know i mean this is a still a fibonacci play that's going fuck off uh, this is still a fibonacci play going on like so a b c i see no reason why we shouldn't still come and complete our a b c d leg all the way down here but a lot of these moves really depend on what the dollar index so I'm going to be watching the dollar index, uh, which is obviously the euro dollar, to see what exactly is happening. But if I draw my trend lines like so, um, as you can see, there's been a slight breach of this. So I'll just be watching to see what exactly happens. Um, ideally, I would appreciate it if gold traded below this level, which is 1684. Guys, as long as gold stays below 1684, we're still very much bearish. And if I just adjust this pretty nicely a bit to the outer point. So um, I'm just going to be watching this right about here to see what exactly happens. I'm still short gold. I've taken out 50% of my position and I'm just going to be watching gold to see what exactly happens. When it's ready, you'll come and let me know. But for now, no trades across board. Let's look at Bitcoin as well. Bitcoin is moving sideways here, consolidating. Um, currently consolidating my next trader talk i'm going to break down bitcoin for you guys properly but we need clear direction across board okay and then obviously we have us oil that's going to run up into 97 dollars pretty soon um but let's let's not get ahead of ourselves next video i'll talk about commodities but for this week let's stick to forex next week i'll do more of crypto and commodities so that we can position ourselves for some trading opportunities once again, before I let you guys go, it is very important that I announce to you guys that I'm back. Dapo Willis is back. I'm going to be back on YouTube, back on Twitter, back on Instagram, posting a lot. I was obviously back home, you know, taking care of other aspects of my business. As you guys know, I like to make money from the markets and then I like to invest it in other businesses as well, you know, because that's the way to go about it. For example, look at how this market is dealing with a lot of people who are addicted, who their only life revolves around Forex. It's always good to have other things aside from Forex to distract you, okay? And that's why I'm a different guy. I'm a different Forex YouTuber. I'll tell you guys the truth. If you're always in front of the screen, you don't have the, the necessary distraction, okay? to distract you from the market so that when the market is not exactly cooperating you can be doing other things for me my other businesses distract me and this way i'm not always trying to force trades i have the ability to be patient okay so once again guys i encourage you guys that haven't grabbed the program to do so i will be updating it shortly um i have three major things i want to talk about that can literally help you guys identify when it's time for you guys to calm down on your trading and on how to basically better position yourself and wait for the next train to come so once again my name is dapo willis and i'll catch you guys on my other screen let us go
Thank you guys for staying to the very end of this very lengthy video. As you can see, we've covered a couple of things. First of all, how to make money in the market, how to preserve it, and most importantly, redrawing the importance of redrawing your profits to go spend on yourself. Once again, my name is Dapo Willis. If you haven't already grabbed the Forex Mastery Program, the link is going to be in the description as always, somewhere around here. Do yourself a favor, grab it, and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. I love you very much. Peace out, adios, and bang out. Bye.